So I'm taking you guys on the entire journey of me creating my men's clothing line from beginning to end. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. What's up icons? So I'm finally getting into my men's clothing line. So for those of you that are creating your own clothing line, interested in creating your own clothing line, or in general starting an online brand, you'll get to see what it takes step by step, even behind the scenes on how to get this started. So this week's video is the very beginning of the process. And what I'll be doing is pretty much just the brainstorming phase. So I've gotten to the point where, you know, I know I want to do men's clothing next which unfortunately I didn't record that portion for you guys to show you the research that took to get me to this point to decide that I want to go with men's next but I'll be doing a video on researching and whatnot so you'll see how I got there like what tools I used to do my research but I'm gonna skip that phase on how I decided to get to men's just know Mr. Rich is next which I also created the name too but I'll show you guys how I created that name in this video but in the brainstorming phase I'm basically coming up with the name and figuring out my game plan on how I'm about to attack this you know figuring out everything and getting all my ideas down onto paper or in my iPad I should say so that way I can get it started so this video is gonna be kind of awkward for me to record because like I said I'm pretty much just taking all that information out of my head and writing it down trying to make sense of it all and coming up with a plan for it so unfortunately I can't record a video where you guys can just see what's going on in my head but pretty much what I'll be doing in this video is talking you through what it is I'm doing and what I'm thinking so I almost feel like I'm talking to myself but I'm talking out loud so you guys can know what I'm thinking and what I'm doing I don't know it seems weird to me it sounds weird but hopefully it comes off right to you guys so you can understand what it takes as far as the brainstorming step and then videos from this point forward and the series will be more hands-on so you guys will see a lot you won't just see me sitting at my desk but best believe you guys are going to see me looking like this a lot where I'm like barely dressed I have on sweatpants and a shirt on top but I'm gonna be looking rough kind of how I did when I first started YouTube because I don't care how I'm looking when I'm working I just need to get my work done so don't be surprised if I'm on YouTube looking a bit crazy Easy, but I'm doing what I need to do to get my work done. So let me go ahead and get into this brainstorming phase. So I know I want to do men's. That's been established. I like to do the creative stuff first because once I come up with an idea, I get super excited. So the best thing to do is do the creative size before I get into the boring parts. So I know I need to figure out, well, first what I want to do is create a list of everything that I need to do. So I know I need to figure out what am I calling this line? So I need to come up with a name. What you guys have heard me say the name, Mr. Rich, that is my men's clothing line. Again, that's something I came up with before I even started recording for you guys because I got so excited, I forgot I wanted to document this entire journey. But that's okay, because I'm gonna run you back through it. For those of you that are struggling to figure out a name for your brand, I'm gonna show you my process and how I start coming up with names. So we gotta figure out the name. I need to create all my to-do list because I know there's going to be stuff I need to buy, like a mannequin. I know I want to do a lot of my graphics in-house, whether it's going to be vinyl, screen printing. I think if I'm doing it in-house, it's most likely going to be like vinyl heat press or maybe direct to garment because I can buy that equipment and do that in-house screen printing I really don't want to deal with. So maybe that's something I'll contract. That's what I got to figure out, but I'll create a list of everything I need to buy. then I need to set a date of when I'm launching this. Now again, because I've already decided this because I got so excited, I know that I want this to launch for fall of 2022. That is the goal. Now I need to create my calendar to backtrack from the date that I want to launch this line to at least about four to six months prior. So this is why I'm saying like some of this wasn't documented. You guys are just watching this in June, but I've been working on this since February. But I had to go back and create my calendar of when all of this needs to be done so I can be sure to be able to launch it for fall of 2022, which I'm aiming for the beginning of August. So the next thing I need to add on my to-do list is create my calendar.
And in that calendar, I know that I'm gonna have to do a photo shoot at some point. Now for my woman's line, I'm used to just using me. And I'll take the pictures for myself, but I can't do the men's photo shoots. So I now need to find a male photographer. I need to find the face of the brand for my men's clothing line. So now I gotta start scouting for a man that I wanna use for the face of my brand. Now, as far as my website, am I going to keep Mr. Rich separate or am I going to combine it all? I definitely don't want to have to create a whole new website, especially if I'm launching this by fall of 2022. Plus, for the people that are already registered for the women's clothing, if they're interested in men's or want to take a peek at men's, I don't want them to have to register all over again. I want them to be able to use their same account and view all product. And then anyone new can just register at the same website. So I'm gonna keep it all together, but I'm thinking maybe for social media, marketing, purposes I might create a separate account for the men's clothing versus the women's I gotta put more thought into that but that's something I'm gonna put on my list of something that I need to figure out how am I combining the men's and women's together as far as the website and social media and all my marketing Then what else do I need to do? If I'm going to do men separate, I have to make sure the domain is available. If I'm going to do the social media separate, I have to make sure those handles are available. So I gotta check on those names to make sure it's all available. The hard part for me right now because men's is so boring to me. I hate dealing with men's clothing if I'm being brutally honest, but there's a market for it, so I'm gonna suck it up and do it. But I have to figure out what direction am I going with this. Most of the men's clothes is all the same. They're all wearing sweatpants and hoodies, graphic tees. All of it looks the same to me. I don't want to do that because I can't focus on things that I'm not interested in. So I gotta figure out a way to bring something to the men's market that is different and also exciting for me, but men will actually still wear it because just because I created and I got excited with it doesn't mean men are gonna to put it on so I gotta be able to sell it but I need it to be interesting for me as well so I gotta figure out the direction I'm going with this line and one of the things I have to figure out when I'm figuring out the direction of my line is also figure out the number of pieces now part of me wants to just go streetwear but I also kind of want to do like business casual too so I don't know I don't know what to do maybe I can combine a little of two and do like multiple look for different men because there are men in this world that have to go business casual during the day because they work Work a real job not to discredit any of you street guys but for the men that actually work real jobs and they need business casual then you also have the men that just want to be relaxed in their streetwear when they're off or on the weekend so maybe I'll do both maybe I'll stick with one category and see how one does and then add another that's something I have about to knock myself out with my earrings. But that's something I have to think about next. What direction I wanna go in, how many pieces I wanna do, what areas of the market do I really want to test out? Part of me also feels like maybe skip the streetwear because there's so much of it already out there with all the hoodies and stuff, but that's also what the men are wearing right now too. So it's kinda of hard to negate that category knowing that that's what men are wearing right now and they're starting to transition back into more of the business casual look. Some of them are even combining their streetwear with their business look. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'll create a line where you can mesh the two together, where you can mix your, your streetwear with the business casual look, something you can actually wear to work on the streets, kind of like the trends video I did for the fall, winter 2022 trends. And in the men's section, there was a theme where men were wearing like hoodies under their blazer type of look. Maybe that's something I'll go with. I'm gonna run back that video, look at those trend reports, Actually, let me pull it up right now. Did I delete? I 
got to figure out where I save those trim reports. I know I have it on my video, but I used to have it on my desktop too. So I got to find those. But that's going to be the next thing on my list is figuring out my direction, my number of pieces, figure out what I want to do. Now, as far as the direction too, since this is the brainstorming phase, I don't have to have this figured out 100% yet because I am going to shop the market, figure out what is selling, what's not selling, what brands are doing well, what aren't doing well. And so I have to do that research anyway, which is going to be a separate video entirely so that way you guys can see that full process because that is a process. So I don't have to have that figured out entirely, but I want to have an idea of what direction I'm going in so I know what brands to focus on. Oh, another thing that's going to be tough for me, which I need to write that down now so I don't forget. And that's the size range. That is another area I have to figure out because I've never done men's before, ever in my life. So I have to figure out what range and sizes do I want to offer. Now I notice a lot of men's brands tend to stop at like 2X and then you go into like the big and tall, which are usually the bigger sizes. But do I just want to combine all of those sizes and go up to like maybe a 4X, 5X? Because there are men that need bigger sizes and instead of just throwing them into big and tall, maybe I'll just combine it all as men's sizing. Men need bigger sizes. So trying to see do I want to do that or maybe stop at like a 2X or 3X? I gotta figure out what sizing selling what's needed so that's an area I have to do more research in so I can figure out what sizes is going to work. I also have to see and understand exactly who I'm going to target for this because if I'm going to target men that are typically smaller I don't need those bigger sizes but if the plan is to target men that are of bigger sizes then of course I'll need the bigger sizes but then coming from a wholesale end I also have to understand that I'm not the one selling direct to consumer I'm selling to other retailers and Every one of these retailers may have a different guy they're selling to. So some may need the smaller sizes, some may need the bigger sizes. Now if you're not a wholesaler and you're designing to sell direct, this may not apply to you. But for me, it does because I am selling wholesale. So I got to think about that on what I want to do as far as sizing. And there's so much more I know that I need to add to this list. This is just what's coming to mind right now. So I'm going to jump into the name creation to show you guys how I got to Mr. Rich and why I decided Mr. Rich. So let me go on another idea page so I can show you guys. Now whenever I'm coming up with a new name, this takes me some time. Sometimes I have to sleep on it for a few days or even a few weeks until something comes to me. But since I already have a brand and the men's clothing is being attached to that brand, I knew I was starting somewhere with the nouveau rich idea so i'm writing like really sloppy just jotting it all down but hopefully you guys can at least read my writing because i know i'm starting with nouveau rich and when it came to like my denim i just called it nouveau rich denim because it was still for women same with the accessories i just did nouveau rich accessories because it's still for the women's accessories but for the men's i feel like i should go with something different i still wanted to tie back to nouveau rich but I don't necessarily want to call it Nouveau Rich Men's because I kind of want it to have its own entity, but at the same time, it still needs to be a part of the brand. So I'm gonna write down Nouveau Rich Men's as an option, but I want to dig deeper and see what else I can come up with. And then the first thing I like to do whenever I'm coming up with a name is go to like the thesaurus, thesaurus.com or anything like that where it'll give me synonyms and I'm going to use men as a synonym and try to come up with other words for men. That'll help me start creating some ideas. So we've got men, man, gentlemen. This is so sloppy. I can't believe I'm writing like this. Then you got King, even though I don't think I want to do King because people are driving me crazy with like the good morning queen, good morning king, like chill. But that's an option, so I'm going to put that on there. You have Sir. What else did they give me on here? They gave me chat, dude, father, son, husband. 
those aren't gonna work. I have the list already. Let me just go to my original list. Then instead of sir, we can do full out Mr. Masculine. Manly. You get the idea. So I just start writing out a bunch of names that are similar. Oh, Mr. was the other one. That's how I, oh, I got that on there. Or you can do the MR. And fella is the last one I'm gonna write down. So what I try to do is take these synonyms here that I came up with and try to combine that with Nouveau Rich. So I came up with like, instead of doing actual Nouveau Rich men's, just doing rich men. Let me write a little better so you guys can actually read this because it's not just me reading it. So we got rich men. I did like king rich. Like I'm just coming up with combinations. Like at this point I know I want to use the rich word. Maybe I don't need the nouveau part but I'll do rich. We can do rich man instead of men. Instead of king rich, it can be rich king. Or make it plural and do rich kings. I think I had like guy rich as another one. And then that's when I came up with like Mr. Rich, Mr. Rich, Sir Rich. I also did like rich gents instead of gentleman, just put gents instead. So I think you guys get the idea now. So those are like some of the ones I came up with just trying to combine one of the words. Oh, rich fellow was another one. But basically coming up with one of those words that represent men or man and combining it with rich to come up with the name. I ended up going with Mr. Rich, but if there's one you guys can think of that you like more or you like one of the ones from the list more, make sure you let me know in the comments. Maybe you can persuade me to change it, but otherwise right now I'm going with Mr. Rich. And that's pretty much the name creation. Sometimes it takes me days, like I wouldn't have just sat here and actually I didn't back in February either. I didn't just sit there and come up with this name. Actually, I think I did this in January. But I just didn't sit there in one sitting and come up with this name. It took me a few days before I came down to this. So it was me brainstorming, sleeping on it. Um, I tend to get a lot of ideas when I'm in the shower. But once an idea comes up, I write it down and then I'll just look at it. The next thing I like to do too is create, not necessarily the actual logo, but create some sort of graphic so I can see what it will look like on a label and does that name look good to me. So I did go ahead and do that. I'm going to throw it on the screen really quick so you guys can see like some of the ideas I came up with because that's actually something I need to add to my list. I need to create my logo. But this logo, I don't want to create myself. I want to have someone do it. So I actually have to find someone to create my logo for me. And as you guys can see, the brainstorming phase is usually all over the place, especially for me because everything in my head is usually all over and as everything starts popping up in my head, I just write it down. So you'll see me jumping back and forth from my list and doing other things, but I'm trying to keep this video organized for you guys so it's not all over the place. But my brainstorming phase is usually all over the place. But anyway, so back to the name. I try to create a graphic so I can get an idea of what it looks like. That usually helps me solidify if I actually like the name or not. So once I start creating those graphics and I get this feel for it and something about it just feels right, I go for it. So that's what I did for Mr. Rich, which is what's on the screen right now. I created some graphics. I know I want something really masculine when it comes to Mr. Rich. I want Mr. Rich to be like this strong man, this tough guy, but this well-dressed guy. So that's another thing I have to do is really come up with who is Mr. Rich. Here I go with these earrings. 
and that'll help me also figure out the proper model for it so that the face of the brand actually represents the image that I'm trying to portray with this line. That'll also help me figure out what direction I'm going in as far as my clothing because I have to make sure the clothing represents Mr. Rich. But this is just brainstorming so I still have time to come up with all that. At least I have an idea that Mr. Rich is strong, he's tough, he's masculine, he's muscular. Like I know who Mr. Rich is in my head. I just have to portray it over into the brand. So I've done some brainstorming as far as getting ideas of what I want to do. Start creating my to-do list. I showed you my name creation process which is probably just a portion of it since I tried to do it in one video instead of over a few days like I normally would do. And then I just showed you the brand page really quickly which by the way if you guys need a template for a brand page you can go to fashionformula101.com that's my mentoring and coaching website and there's a template on there you guys can download to create your brand page for your brands. I have one for every single one of my brands, even for iconic fashion figure. I have to have those because I want to put the colors on there, put the logos on there, the fonts that I'm using, all that stuff so that way I can actually brand the brand. So now that I have all of that done, my next thing is to go on like domain.com, make sure the domain is available if I decide to go ahead and create a separate website. So like in this situation, since I'm going to pretty much just combine the websites into one, I don't really need a domain. I probably will still buy it to block it out and then just redirect that domain to the actual website. And then same with social media, which I've actually already done that. I created the Mr. Rich social media. So that way I can reserve that name. So those will be the next steps, which I've already done. As far as registering, that's actually done as well for me. I have my brand, which is ASH Brands, and Mr. Rich is gonna go underneath that. So my registration part is going to be different than for those of you that may be starting from the beginning. So if you're confused on how to register your business, I'll link that below to help you guys out in registering your business, but I won't go through that process in this video. Just because my business is already registered, I just have to add Mr. Rich. As far as the brainstorming, I'm trying to think what else I did that I may not have recorded for you guys and what else I would recommend for you guys to do because I did a lot of this off camera. In my five year anniversary video when I announced that I was going to be doing a men's line and I was gonna take you guys along that journey, I had mentioned that I had already started. So a lot of this stuff is done, but I want you guys to get the full experience so I still wanted to backtrack and try to get that information in there as far as the brainstorming and getting started part. So pretty much the brainstorming is done for me until I get into the next phase. So I already have my list of the things I've started writing down of what I want to do. I need to tackle those things on that list. And then my next phase, I'm going to be doing like the mood board and my inspiration on figuring out the direction, which is also in my list. But that's probably the next part you guys will see on trying to figure out the direction for this, how I do my brainstorming, not how I do my brainstorming, how I figure out the direction for my brand, where I find my inspiration from, and I'm even going to take you guys comp shopping with me. So you guys will be seeing that soon. But before I wrap this video up, because I'm getting ready to close it out on you guys and there's technically more I should show you as far as my production calendar. So now with my production calendar, because I'm trying to figure out you know, how long all of this is going to take before I can actually launch. I know if I go into the calendar, I want to launch by, where is my calendar? Oh, right here. So let's say that first week of August, so between, Actually, I'm gonna do August 7th because my launch date for my actual Nouveau Rich brand was April 7th. So I'll do August 7th for the mints. There we go, got a date. Depending on what factory you work with, which I've done a video for you guys on finding your custom manufacturing factories. I'll link that down below. But for me, the factories usually need about 60 days to produce. I'm not going to make as much as I would with women's on this. So I can probably get it done within like 30, 
not me but the factory can probably get it done within like 30 to 45 days so i know at the latest by mid-june i'm gonna say like june 15th i need to have the men's line in production in order to meet like an august 7th delivery i usually pad it by two weeks so technically as you guys are watching this video i should have the men's line in production so that way i can meet an august 7th delivery so from there so basically i'm giving them pretty much two months to to get this produced and shipped but there's still the sample process so i usually give them about a month to do the sampling process so you'll do a first sample fit sample and then the final top will come once production is done but i need to do the fitting because it's the first time of me doing men so i gotta make sure my men's specs are right it's not like women's where i've been doing this for a while so i already know but for men's this is new so i'll be doing a development sample to make sure i like my designs and then doing the fit samples as well so I want to give them at least a month on that so I said pretty much I'm giving them from June 2nd which is when you guys will be watching this video to do production which means if I'm giving them a month I have May 2nd that I need to start the sampling process but there's still more I need to calculate before I even get into the sampling process and of course that's creating my designs and creating the tech packs depending on how many pieces I end up doing I need to give myself at least a month to do that now of course as I develop something I automatically send it out so they can start the samples so pretty much since I'm giving myself a month from April 2nd through May is going to be back and forth of me sending development tech packs and then them sending me development samples and then once I approve from there we can go on to fit or either I drop it if I don't like the sample if I don't like the development sample I should say so that's where it is April and May it's tech pack samples tech pack samples back and forth so I know so like I said to you guys I technically started this all in January because I had to get all my brainstorm out February coming up with the direction and ideas I want to go into March I kind of took a break because that was my birthday month but then I also was getting my ideas out too in between my birthday celebration trying to figure out what designs I was going with doing all my research and stuff so April is when things got real which you guys will see in the series as we go so as of right now where you guys are watching we're going into production I'm going to backlog so you guys will see like all the footage that's already been recorded for you but really in June once it's going into production and while that's happening I'm also doing photo shoots and packaging and branding and you know and marketing and that type of stuff I have to start doing all of that because I have to be ready for that August launch because now I really only have two months left you guys will see all of that unfold I'm kind of getting ahead of myself letting you guys know what's coming up but you'll see more of that as the videos unfold you guys are actually seeing this a little later than it actually Actually happened just because I had to get it done and record plus I ran into the hurdle of China shutting down for literally two months this time because of COVID so that delayed everything so you guys will get to see that too and the frustration and headaches that came with that because I was extremely close to scrapping my men's line at that point I was gonna hold off on doing it because they shut down again and this was like flashbacks for 2020 for me because in 2020 I was getting ready to start kids so February 2020 I got the idea I wanted to start kids so I was getting ready to start on that and then that's when everything shut down so I held back on doing kids so the fact that this happened again with men's when I was getting ready to do men's was so frustrating which you guys will see it all unfold but this time around I decided to push through anyway and not scrap it I'm just praying I don't delay or have to delay anything because I really want men's to launch the beginning of august i have a feeling at least it's going to be the end of august because it might push me back a bit since they were closed for two freaking months and 2020 was only one month 2022 was two months so it's frustrating but i'm gonna stop jumping ahead of myself and let you guys just see it all happen in real time or at least as the videos upload so i'm gonna end this video for this week and then next week we'll jump into the comp shopping and the inspiration and the mood board thank you guys for watching